Welcome back to my channel, Physics from 4 Gases M. Continue Chapter 2, Force and Motion 1 on Topic 2.5, Momentum Part 2. So in this video, I will discuss uh, the Wonderland Standard, that is apply the principle of conservation of momentum in collision and explosion. Application of concept of momentum in daily life. I hope you still remember we have discussed about momentum. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity, meaning the two factors that affect momentum is mass and velocity of an object. So now we want to discuss about application of principle of conservation momentum in collision and explosion. Look at this situation. Both firemen are thrown backwards when a water when water at high speed gushes out of the hose. Why does this happen? So you can see the water that rush out is it uh, it has a very high velocity. So of course the momentum of water that gushes out is very large. Due to this, two or more firemen are needed to balance the momentum by holding the hose tightly. So this one shows that momentum of, the, of water forward produces momentum backwards on the fireman. So this one actually is stated by principle of conservation momentum which states that total momentum of a closed system is always conserved. When total momentum is always conserved, thus momentum over the water gushes out equals to momentum backwards on the fireman. Same magnitude but opposite direction. The principle of conservation momentum states that total momentum before collision is equals to total momentum after collision if no external force acting on it. When we discuss about collision, so we talk about total momentum before collision and total momentum after collision. What is the meaning of closed system? A closed system means the system that does not involve external forces. There are no external forces, then only we can apply this principle of conservation of momentum. Look at situation 1. This one is elastic collision. Two objects move separately after collision. This is a situation before collision. We have object A and object B with mass of M1 and M2 respectively and the initial velocity U1 and U2 respectively. After collision, the two objects move separately with their own velocity that we call it final velocity. So for M1, the velocity after collision is V1. For M2, after collision, the velocity is V2. We apply principle of conservation of momentum for this case because you can see this is a closed system. There's no external force act on the system. Thus, Total momentum before collision equals to total momentum after collision. When we talk about total momentum, meaning momentum of object A plus momentum of object B. Same thing after collision. So total momentum before collision equals to momentum of A plus momentum of B. Thus we get M1 u1 plus m2 u2 after collision the total momentum is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 thus we get this formula so we can use this formula to solve calculation problems involving elastic collision what else that we can discuss about the properties of elastic collision of course, this one we apply principle of conservation momentum. The total momentum is always conserved. How about the total kinetic energy of the system? 
For this case, total kinetic energy before collision also equals to total kinetic energy after collision. Or we can say total kinetic energy of the system also conserved. So properties of elastic collision is Total momentum and total kinetic energy of the system are conserved. Situation 2. This is inelastic collision. The two objects move together with common velocity. This is situation before collision. This is after collision. After collision, we can see the two objects stick together and move with common velocity, V. Apply principle of conservation momentum. Total momentum before collision equals to total momentum after collision. Thus, before collision, the total momentum is M1, U1 plus M2, U2 equals to after collision the two objects stick together like forming a new object with a larger mass M1 plus M2. So here M1 plus M2 times V. So we can use this formula to solve problems involving inelastic collision. What else about the properties of inelastic collision? Of course, the total momentum is concerned. How about the kinetic energy? For this case, total kinetic energy is not conserved, meaning the initial total kinetic energy changed to other form of energy during collision. As an example, change to heat energy or change to sound energy. Thus, the total kinetic energy after collision is smaller than the initial kinetic energy, or we can say kinetic energy is not conserved. So, in elastic collision, we need to know that total momentum is conserved, but total kinetic energy is not conserved. The third situation is explosion. We have two objects close together, like this. Both are at rest. After explosion, the two objects move separately. For example, you can see here, after the explosion, the first object move with velocity of V1 and M2 velocity of V2. Initial velocity equals to zero because both of the objects are at rest before collision. We can apply principle of conservation momentum. Total momentum before collision equals to total momentum after collision. Total momentum before collision actually equals to zero. So you can see here, U equals to zero. Total momentum after collision is M1 V1 plus M2 V2. So you can see they move separately in opposite direction like this in order to maintain uh, the total momentum equals to zero. Meaning, Momentum of the objects or momentum of the first object here to the left actually equals to momentum of the second object to the right. Same value of momentum but in opposite direction. So we get this one. M1 V1 equals to negative M2 V2. So this type of motion or situation, we call it explosion. Another example of explosion is like a rocket propulsion. 
a rocket release out hot gases downward, thus produce momentum of the hot gases downward. The momentum of the hot gases downward will produce momentum upwards that cause the rocket to move up. Meaning, momentum of the hot gases equals to momentum of the rocket upwards but in opposite direction. Okay, there are many examples involving explosion as an example like rifle and bullet. Before the bullet is fired, both uh, uh, rifle and bullet are at rest. So that one is also an example of explosion. Okay. So from this explosion, total momentum is conserved. Total kinetic energy is not conserved because not same uh, before and after. Okay. You look at formative practice 2.5, the first question, what is meant by momentum and conservation of momentum. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity. So you can just write down momentum P equals mass times velocity. That one also can. Conservation of momentum states that total momentum of a closed system is always conserved is if no external force acting on it when we talk about closed system eh? so this is conservation momentum second question a lorry of mass 1000 kg move at velocity of 5 meter second to the power negative 1 it collides with a car of mass 800 kg moving at velocity of 2 meter second to the power negative 1 in the same direction if the lorry moves at velocity of 3.4 meters second to the power negative 1 in the same direction after collision, calculate the velocity of the car. We can list out all the information given first. Let's say the lorry we denote as M1, so we can write down the mass is 1000 kg. Velocity of the lorry U1 5 meters second negative 1. And for the car, M2, 800 kg, we need to find U2. Okay, <clears throat> after collision, Given that the lorry moved at velocity of 3.4 meter second to the power negative 1 and started here in the same direction. So we can assume that same direction is in the towards right direction. So all are in positive direction. Calculate velocity of the car. Okay, this is a case of elastic collision because both of the lorry and the car move separately yeah, after collision. So we can apply by using uh, this uh, formula. Substitute all the formula correctly. So you must be careful eh, when you substitute. Okay. You must substitute according to the equation given here or the formula here. Okay. So all uh, signs eh, for the velocity are positive. Because all are in the same direction. Okay, so you can see the u1, u2, v1, v2, all in positive direction. So you just solve for v2, you get v2 equals to 4 meter second negative 1. The final answer also positive, meaning the car also moving in the same direction after collision. So this is how we solve question involving collision by applying principle of conservation of momentum. We we'll look at question number two. Diagram below shows object X and object Y before and after an elastic collision. The mass of X and object Y are 5 kg and 1 kg respectively. 
what is the velocity v of both object after collision in meter second to the power negative one so refer to this uh, diagram this is before collision so you can see direction are opposite eh? so we can mark for x as m1 and u1 and this one is m2 u2 m1 u, uh, m2 and then v yeah? So this one is inelastic, so we use this formula, m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals m1 plus m2 v. Be careful with direction. We assume direction to the right as positive, thus direction to the left is negative. So here for u2, we put negative sign. Okay, so U2 equals to negative 10 meter second to the power negative 1. So we apply M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equals M1 plus M2 V. So you just substitute all the values in. So you will get V equals 2.5 meter second to the power negative 1. So this is the common velocity eh, of both of the object after collision. So when you substitute all the values, you also need to check the unit. All this using SI unit. Eh? Be careful, sometimes the speed of velocity given in kilometer per hour. Okay, so you need to be careful with the unit. So this is the final answer. So we also get the value is positive, meaning after collision, both object is moving towards the right. Okay, because we have assumed earlier that direction to the right is positive, the final answer is positive, meaning the after collision, the both of your object are moving towards the right. Okay. Okay, I think I will stop here. I will continue in the next video on topic momentum part 3. Okay, that's all right.